What's going on everybody? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I am Andre Dior. If this is your first time watching me, please scalp that like button and also drag that subscribe button through the mud and turn on your notifications because YouTube will be acting dumb and don't want to be notifying people when I upload a video. So subscribe and also become Andre Army because we're all bougie and we popping, okay? And I know I've been going for a minute now. I'm back with the jump ball. I know, I know y'all been missing me. So I'm giving you Real Housewives of Atlanta confessional. <laughs> I'm here to um, do a video because, you know, my subscribers and followers always ask me, how do you cut off fake friends? Cut off fake vibes, bad energy, weird energy, weird Emma J, okay? Because you don't need that in your life. But hold on. Before we start this video, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Andre Dior underscore and also on Snapchat at Andre underscore Versace, but it will come up as makeup by Andre. But yeah, follow me on social media. I want to be closer to you guys. I want to get my followers up. I want Andre Army to be the biggest gang like this. Being back and on YouTube, period. That's the goal for 2018. I really love y'all for still rocking with me, still subscribing to my stupid channel, still being tuned in and locked in. And let's start the video. Okay, so the first thing you guys, before you think about cutting someone off, normally usually you'll get a vibe and an instinct or gut feeling. But for me, I work on vibes. So I would say you would get like weird vibes. Like, like say this is your best friend, your main bro, main girl best friend or boy best friend, and y'all hang out 24 seven constantly. But all of a sudden when y'all hang out now, it's mad weird, you get what I'm saying? And you always feel like either it's a strain or you're annoyed or you're like, why are they always acting like that? That's your instinct telling you something's up. Say this is your best friend for years. Y'all hanging out. Y'all grew up together. Y'all do every single thing together. But all of a sudden, it's like every single time now, the friendship is just coming to like a, a, a halt. Not saying that best friends or friends don't have arguments, but now every single time now, y'all always having issues y'all weren't having before or they're hanging out with old friends or new friends now or you find yourself having to hit this person up more text them or call them more than they call you and if you don't call or text them you won't hear from them you get what i'm saying so that should let you know something's up sis all right <laughs> and that's not the business at all that's it's just fake and yes you can know somebody for 10 years, 20 years, your whole lifetime, and they could still switch up and be fake as shit. Period. Don't put nothing past nobody. Not saying don't trust nobody, but Tupac said it best. Trust no. <laughs> and Andre Army and everybody else who's watching, let me explain something to you. Somebody that you spend most of your time with, your everyday or your every weekend, or somebody, your best friend, your main squeeze, your home skill, whoever, and that's someone you spend most of your time with and all of a sudden now, they're just becoming distant. They are spending time with someone else, period. I don't care how you put it. I don't hear I'm busy or I'm working or I'm booked up. You wasn't booked up and busy before, but all of a sudden now you are. You know, so just like, think about it. They're spending time with someone else. And that's just the thesis, period. And for another instinct, say this person, after they doing all that, right? You already have the vibe and the instinct. They on Snapchat, they on Instagram, blah, blah. <laughs> we at the movies, party, turn up with a bunch of new people or new person. Not saying everybody doesn't have different people in their lives, but it's just like, you ain't get an invite. You didn't get a text message. You didn't get an email. You didn't get an AOL. You didn't get a BBM. A 411 to 10, baby. It's okay, because they're moving funny. You notice they're moving funny. And some people might ask, when is the right time to cut them off? That's the right time to cut them off. Period. Come on. Like, example, I'm just throwing a random name. Me and Tom hang out, or me and Jessica hang out every single day. And then all of a sudden now... I go from seeing Tom and Jessica, whoever, wh whichever person. Sitting now, it's like, what you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm going out. I have plans. But then you on Instagram at the movies, turn up at parties. You at Airbnbs. You in Miami. 
You didn't text nobody, you didn't call nobody, you didn't leave a voicemail. You didn't Facebook message nobody. Or send them the memo. So that's showing you that they're cutting you out of their life. You get what I'm saying? They become more private, more secretive, more standoffish. Like, oh, I'm busy. I'm just doing this. I'm just doing that. Okay, sis. That's your answer. That's when you cut them off. But I'm not done yet. But that's just one point. <laughs> Comment down below if you agree with me. Next thing. If your friends, so-called friends, or day one A1 steak sauce, that's my bitch, that's my dog, that's my homie, you know, till the wheels fall off. Your friend or so-called best friend or whoever can vent to you, tell you all their problems. You're like, oh my God, you there for them. You hugging them, you show up, you listening. But when it comes down to telling them your problems and they just like, oh, or they silent or you tell them good news, that's not your friend. A friendship works both ways, period. It's not a one-sided thing. It's not a, I'm there for Ashley, but Ashley's not there for me. That's just an example name, but it's just like, it's wax, sis. That's fake as fuck. Y'all don't need, Andre Army, let me tell you right now. Personally, I would rather have no friends than to be in a group of friends of people that hate me. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to have a group of friends that secretly or fake as fuck or don't really genuinely like me or genu genuinely have my best interest. Like, I don't really care if I have friends or not, to be honest. Like, my mom always told me, you go on by yourself, you won't go out by yourself. Period! At the end of the day, all you got is yourself. Not saying that friends aren't a good thing because I do have, you know, a cute little circle of probably like three people, probably in my corner. Not gonna say that's really in my corner, but other than that, I'm good. Oh, and one more thing. So say you, I don't know, you're starting a line, you're starting a bundle line, I don't know, you're doing YouTube, you're doing clothing line, you are in college, you're in school, or you're an entrepreneur starting your own business, and your best friend, your home skiller, whoever y'all want to call a one steak sauce, hashtag a one steak sauce in the comments down below. I'm a bird, I know. About Andre Army, let me tell you something. If you're like, yeah, girl, support me, and your friend like, uh, can I get it for free? Your friend don't want you to win. Your friend is a hater. Your friend is mad. Period. If your friend is not supporting you, your friend is not like, yeah, hustle, um, buys your clothes, eyelashes, whatever you doing. If your friend is not showing up supporting, and they're just like, oh, they just watching it. But once you jump off, that's when they want to come in pictures and meet and greet. So, no, it's a dub. If you wasn't supporting when we was eating, ramen noodles you're not gonna be there when we're eating oodles into noodles like meek mill said the money turned the noodles into pasta so if they was not there before the pasta they shouldn't be there now with you when you're winning that's not your friend sis cut it cut it one more point <laughs> if you have a so-called friend and say you're in college high school i don't know whatever Situation work workplace the workplace is a big gossip place If your so-called best friend is around people that talk about you or oh, did you hear what Andre said or oh, that bitch what he's wearing or blah 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 or, And if your friend doesn't defend you or if your friend Doesn't say anything. That's not your friend. That's a no That's not your friend. That's a fake ass person that you need to cut off. That's a bird That's a peasant next to you. That's not your friend. That's fake or if your friend goes you know what they was talking about you but i was just sitting there quiet so you sat there and let people talk shit about me in my absence not saying you have to fight somebody or throw hands but it's just like a real friend would be like yo that's wack as shit or confront them you know what i'm saying and if you really are a ride or die type that really does get shaking i'm not promoting violence because violence is not the way or the key but i'm just saying like that is not your friend. And also, if you also have so-called friends that also only show up in the time of drama or problems or whatever, and that's one friend always just comes to you like, oh my God, did you hear what this person said about you? Oh my God, what are you gonna do? Oh my God, like, do you know? She said you're ugly. She said your weed was whack. She said this, or he said you broke, or he said, that's not your friend. Cause every time you come to me, on some Carly Red Love and Hip Hop shit, it's always about what people said about me. And 
you're you're sitting there with the same people that's always talking about me or you're always in some mix up with people that are talking about me it's like and when I ask you what you do or what did you say you were just like oh nothing I just heard and I just came to tell you and they dipped they only around to tell you the news and the drama that's not your friend it's time for that friendship to be over it's a dub so if you have a friend that only looks out for them but say you guys are always together and you're like you know what girl I gotta go I don't know, drop off this letter at the post office. Oh, I gotta get this really cute shirt from h &M really quick. And they're like, oh, girl, I cannot go. You gotta go by yourself. My whole thing is not depending on someone, but the fact that if your friend is always on some shady type of time, like, oh, girl, I don't got time for that. You gotta do it on your own time. But you the same friend that's always showing up when they, boy, they man is cheating on them at 5 a.m., you going to work, you bringing them food, you you going with them to 42nd Street because they want, I don't know, some goddamn cupcakes. They want a burger from McDonald's. You're like, okay, sure, I'll walk with you. But when it comes down to you or going out your way for you, they're just always on some shady type of time. And that's not your friend. Like, another sign how to cut a fake friend off is I don't really discuss it at all. <laughs> because let me tell you why. The moment you try to discuss it or discuss the bad vibes and energy, the person's not going to say, what are you talking about? Why? That's so crazy. I don't know why you feel like that. And then it results, it turns into them apologizing and you're stuck with them. Sometimes you have to be the bigger person and leave. If that means stop speaking to them, block, delete their phone numbers, block them, block them on all social media networks, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, whatever you on Vine. YouTube, I don't know. No, seriously though. Sometimes you have to remove yourself because a lot of people, they thrive off of the fake shit and the fake energy and all that foolishness. And sometimes you just have to get out. Like, y'all can get, why don't you get out the movie? You gotta get out. I'm over here trying to hang on to a friendship that been done or a group of friends that are really fake as shit just so I can sit cute with the plastics. No, that's not the business. Just cut it out. And... Let me tell you, you need sanity and you need your peace. And one thing I've noticed over the years, like going to school, growing up, um, anytime there was a group of friends or gang or squad, I found myself in a lot of he said, she said. And I didn't understand why, because I'm just like, don't my friends have my back? But it's just like, the very soap people I thought had my back never had my back from jump. It was just... Basically, I was their entertainment, so it was almost like they were feeding me bugs in my ears and then also telling my business. So my whole thing is, say you have a friend or just, you know, I want to help people at home. Say you're less fortunate, your friend come to your house, then your friend go to school the next day like, oh, guess what's in this person's house? Did you see Joey or Tommy house and her mother's poor and she does this and she lives here? It's just like... That's not your friend. You guys, thank you so much for watching the entire video. If you watched the entire video, comment down Andre Army in the comments below. All of my social media will be down below in the comments for you guys to follow me. My Instagram, follow me on Instagram at Andre Dior underscore. And also follow me on Snapchat. <laughs> the links will pop up under me as I talk. And also, I love all of you guys for still holding it down, riding the army. Still be bad and bougie, ambitious, girl boss, boy boss, run your own shit. I love all of you guys for still rocking with me and be you, stay you, get that bag. Be put the fuck boy on notice. Fuck boy on notice.